Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the double upgraded Lewandowski card to review. I have absolutely zero doubt that this card is going to be amazing to use in game because of the fact that his 95 was already really, really fun to use because of its significant upgrades, right? So let's take a look at the card. We got a card that is six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skill moves with a four star weak foot. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a card that has 88 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. So you don't, you do want to increase that with the engine chemistry style because if you take a look at his shooting stats 99 attacking positioning 98 finishing 97 shot power 94 composure and dribbling stats being drastically improved with the plus 10 for balance plus 5 for agility and on top of that still the plus 10 for long passing so this card is really really fun to use definitely a meta striker at this point for sure um, like i said his 95 card was absolutely brilliant all of that that he has, right, with a finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait, those two together, those two together are really, really nice. As you guys know, Griezmann had very, very similar um, traits as well, and that was amazing to have. Can someone in the comment section down below let me know what solid player is? Because God knows what that is, okay? So, uh, yeah, so we're going to change what we did for the 95 review and what we're going to do for this review because guys this meta that exists in this game right now where people think they're good abusing these same defensive tactics so i'm going to use one or two of my cdms the entire time never switch off and just attack that way because it's so easy to um i have to change the 4-2-3-1 because the meta is just gonna do my head in okay so we're gonna be using the 4 one 2 and 2 bracket 2 for the fun concept, right? Pressure on heavy touch 5 and 5, balance 5 and 5. Uh, instructions for Lewandowski on the left side, because I want to test out that weak foot of his, is stay central, get in behind, stay forward. Same thing with Bella Robbie. Maradona playing in the cam position. Kimmich playing in the CDM position with balanced fullbacks. Let's have fun. You know, let's have some fun. Oh my God, I was playing people today with the 4 2 3 1 for the cross score review. And I was like, this is so boring that people are allowed to play like this. It's more, it's more effective when the gameplay is not up to par, but it's just like, I gotta change it up, you know? I gotta change it up. If I lose, I lose, man. But, like, dude, this meta just sucks right now. So, um, yeah, let's go into a game, play with the 4 1 2 and 2. Just gotta remember if it's the ultra defensive, because when it's another person's account, my version of the 4 1 2 and 2 on other accounts is so different. So, I think with his, um, it's on the ultra defensive. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully, he's a beast. All right, let's see how this bad boy plays in a 4 one 2 and 2 with the stay central getting behind tactic. Look, everyone just bulks up. It's just it's just a boring way to play this game. EA, for the video game concept, don't allow people to play, to play this defensive. It's just It just doesn't make sense. Everyone does it because it's effective, not because it's a play style. Please, for the love of God, it's so irritating. I even find the angle right there and his AI still blocks it for him. Like, please, do not make your game more defensive oriented. This is not the direction. Oh, it's the same with the Carrasco review. Like, it's this just a boring way to play, man. But I'm going to destroy this kid because we about this life, chat. Dude, I can't even, like, dribble with the ball just with the left stick. Like, that's how embarrassing this is, man. They just do acceleration touches all the time. Doesn't matter, though, because Lewandowski with the off-the-ball movement. Bang, bang, back into the near-post angle. We don't score that opportunity, but... Beautiful, beautiful dribbling on my boy Lewandowski. Let's go! Let's go, Bellarabi. Get that angle, score that opportunity. His defensive AI almost still got that for him, but we scored the opportunity. Let's get it. Goes without saying that Lewandowski's a beast, by the way. Like, <laughs> any instruction you give him, he's going to play the play style really, really well. It actually could be one of those things where I tell one person to get in behind uh, stay central and then the other person on bounce. Like Lewandowski could be the bounce guy. It wouldn't really matter too much. Because um, I feel like he'd work out really nicely regardless. So, Oh, just, just completely, just completely obliterated. That's just how we do it, ladies and gentlemen, on these streets. Lewandowski with those state central getting behind tactics, 99 attacking position, and getting into the right spot to score a nice opportunity. And my skipping is not... Oh, it's because my cable is completely... This controller is completely gone, I'm telling you. 
Oh, maybe if I could dribble the ball, that'd be great. Oh, it's a foul. Nice. Didn't expect that one coming. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what we're going to do over here. Just cheeky little free kick tactic. Alfonso Davies. Alfonso Davies. That's, that's who we're going to do the free kick with. Alfonso Davies. He's the left-footed guy when there's Maradona in the team. Sounds about right there, mate. Sounds about right. I, I, just, I literally just, uh, I just did a ball roll downwards and he does a random flick up. How is that even possible? You know what I want to actually try out on this team is uh, I think Bellarabi needs the instructions. For me personally, I just feel like that's a case with him. But with these guys over here, we're going to do balanced. We're going to do balanced for all of them. We're just going to be a bunch of savages over here. You can definitely tell this is not the meta because people... The way that the defense just opens up, like, it's it, the game literally forces the park the bus aspect on you. It does. That's why it's such a shitty game. Oh, my God, man. It's just... Just just do the animation and go, my dude. Eckstein, what are we saying? Or Eggestein. His name is Eckstein, sorry. Everyone's going to kill me from the pronunciation over there. Oh, I try to do a freaking roulette and he's doing a step over. Oh, I hate this game, dude. Would have been such a nice goal. Lewandowski and Bellarabi just moving off each other like beasts. Give me that finesse shot with Maradona. Never mind. Shot from that angle. Oh, he saves it. Could have totally made the pass there, but uh, it was a nice attacking play regardless. Bam. Get Lewandowski on his right foot. Ball roll, touch. Ooh, get that scoop off of that physical presence. Finesse shot. Just glorious stuff working over here. Glorious stuff. Now, the scoop turn he's able to do there because he's jogging, but he's also kind of stopped. It's like he can mostly do it when he's stopped. Um, it's nice to have the five-star skills to just do it consistently, but... Uh, Obviously, really good in that situation. You notice mostly the physical presence that he has. Once he gets the skill move off, he puts his body ahead of um, ahead of the opposition to get into the right angles to shoot the ball, you know? Oh, just look at the way he gets back on side instantly. Oh, it's the best. Four-star weak foot strike. Player saves it. Ooh, get that flick off. Yes, my boy. Ooh. Ooh. He's still flicking it like a beast. And he still has a physical presence. Oh, God. At that point, it's just too much. It's just too much. <laughs> Lovely game. Yeah, you got some great stuff working on over here. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. Uh, we keep it short because, you know, I already did the review for, like, 95. I did the first one initially, right? Uh, 95, 96, not going to be, like, a huge difference in regards to it being noticeable, but the minimal improvements are welcome either way because, guys, this card with an engine chemistry style is really, really nice. The plus 5 for the acceleration sprint speed, very helpful. The plus 10 for the bounce as well as the plus 5 for agility, very helpful. The plus 10 for long passing, very helpful, like... This card has everything you need for him to be a good striker in this game, regardless of how terrible this gameplay is. So, um, I mean, what? The, how much? He's like over a mil, right? Yeah, over a mil, like 1.2 mil. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, he plays He plays really deadly in game. My boy had this card for a while because he obviously had it since the first card came out. And with the massively improved stats that the card has gotten, definitely, definitely worth the price uh, paying for it. Because the big thing on this card, right? is all of these stats being good off of base card stats is really, really nice because it's more noticeable with these cards when they already have it than when you're improving it, Does that make, if that makes any sense, right? And obviously, he's going to play whatever instruction you want really well. On balance instruction, he's going to move around the pitch really nicely, stays on side for most of the attacking opportunities. He can't really ask for more. Even with the high medium work rates, 85 stamina is good enough because of him being a striker mainly, you know? Wouldn't really recommend him as a cam. You can use him there, but... You know, he's he's a striker, guys. Like, don't, don't use him as a cam. You know what I'm saying? This guy's... Well, you can, actually, because his long shots and stuff would actually be decent. But, 
He's a striker. He feels like a striker in game, but uh, it's it's usable there. It's usable. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna get off this game because it's terrible. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.